Hey guys, we're here at Starbucks. What time is it? 7.36 a.m. 7.36 a.m. What day is it? Wednesday morning. Wednesday. Wednesday morning. And July we, 1st. July 1st. Look at that. Sierra's here. She's waiting for her Starbucks. She should have got her like a doggy Starbucks. Don't it's they have like a doggy? A puppuccino. Did you get a puppuccino for her? No, I did not. You don't love her. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Well, it is about the beginning of our journey, and uh, we're excited. I'm excited. You excited? Eh. She's because eh, she doesn't fish. It's here. You yes, excited? I do. Yeah. She doesn't fish. You're yeah. excited, dear? Yeah. No, she doesn't. Um, so we are gonna head up to Big Pine and Lone Pine first. We're gonna stop. I don't no, know our what first the stop is, is our first stop is Big Pine because we're gonna get some Copper Top Barbecue for dinner tonight, and then from there we're gonna swing through Bishop I think and Lone Pine is first, Fossil Falls. Hey, maybe, maybe who knows? We're open. We're on and vacation. Then Independence and then Big Pine. Yeah, so Goose wants to stop at a bunch of different areas, and mm -hmm. she wants to make a point of making an eight-hour journey up to Mammoth, which hey, I'm good with. We have time. It's your world, baby. I'm just living in it. That's right. Um, so we got a bunch of stops. We'll do some video along the way. Um, but we're just waiting for Starbucks to be ready. And then I got to gas up. And then everyone will fall asleep but me. So <laughs> going to be an exciting trip all the way up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we will catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Just south of Alancha. Uh, it was a good little hike, maybe it was a 30, 40 minute little uh, adventure. Um, it really did look like Mars. I mean, you had black rock, red rock, uh, white, sandy, dry lake beds. It was pretty cool. Um, never been there before, but it was on Mama Goose's uh, to do list on the way up here. So, uh, you know, probably wouldn't ever go there again. No? Cool to see once. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'd uh, uh, go there again. I mean, maybe I would, but just not in 110 degree weather. It wasn't that hot. It's like 85 at least, so. Still not that hot. Okay, I was dying. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna keep heading north. Next stop is Independence. Did you want to stop at the little courthouse thing, or? We don't have to stop. Deal. Um, but this little. Things to see on the way. Our next stop is Big Pine. Big Pine. Our go-to grub. Yeah, barbecue. So the best barbecue. Well, guys, this is my sad face. Uh, we stopped in Big Pine. We went to Copper Top Barbecue, and they were closed. And the idea was not to get lunch there, but they have um, pre-packaged. Yeah, airtight, vacuum shrink wrap, sealed. vacuum sealed, uh, pre-cooked barbecue goods. Yes. And so we went there, the entire store was closed, but also their little vending machine. That you uh, buy the vacuum sealed meats from. Yeah, it's I mean, there, it was completely empty. I mean, there were a few drinks in there, so I'm not sure what's going on. So hopefully uh, they'll be up and running soon, and uh, we'll be fine. We'll figure out something else for dinner, but... Uh, Next stop, Bishop. Lunch, beer. Shots. We're filming, watch your mouth. <laughs> oh, Shats Bakery, my bad. Eric so, Shats 
bakery. Yeah, I don't know. We want to stop at Schatz. If you guys haven't been to Schatz before, yes. man, you've been missing out. There's a Schatz in Bishop. There's a Schatz in the town yeah. of Mammoth. It's but iconic. It's amazing. It's a bakery. They've got all kind. They got Candies. all kinds of good stuff. I mean, it's just Cookies. a really, really Sandwiches. cool, cool uh, spot to stop at. So. We'll be stopping there too, so we got a couple stops up ahead, which will kill some time. Alright guys, we are probably about a minute or two from our exit to turn off to go to Mammoth. Uh, it's a pretty easy drive. Uh, you know, we took our time. We stopped a few different areas. Uh, stopped in Bishop, stopped in Big Pine. Uh, we struck out at the barbecue place. They were closed down. We're about to get to Mammoth. We are going to stop at a brewery or two up here to kind of hang out in town a little before we head up to the cabin. So uh, we will uh, show you guys around town here uh, in a little bit and once we uh, get on the road to the cabin uh, we'll show you some of that drive also yeah yeah good how you doing good hey, got some, some food going on here we got a little stage here for Looks like evening entertainment, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, so uh, we finally made it. Cheers, dear. And the weather's perfect. It's probably 78, 80 degrees. Um, not crowded whatsoever, and a lot of mask wearing going on up here, but we're drinking, so uh, we got it pretty fast right now. So. But uh, we're going to hang out here for a little bit, and then maybe go by the other brewery, and uh, we don't drink a lot, don't get us wrong. We, all we get, you keep wanting to go to these breweries, dude, you're making us look bad. <laughs> Nothing. So uh, we'll get a couple uh, cans to take us, uh, take with us to the cabin, and then uh, we're gonna head up the hill, which is probably another 20 minute drive to Lake George, and then we will uh, pick it back up there. Potius. Oh, Daniel. Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, are you Patty? Yeah. Oh, very nice to meet you. <laughs> the lake looks very, very empty, which is music to my eyes. made it uh woods lodge mammoth lakes right on lake george and hey get over here sierra come inside come on come on and cabin number four Spruce. nice and cozy sierra it's come on sierra let's check this out kitchen spacious coffee maker yes and we've got a wood burning stove, fireplace cool. combo. Stove. This is our bedroom, dear. With a view of the lake. Bedroom number two. So we got a bed in a corner with a view. And a bed in the other corner. All right, Itsy. Yes. Preparing our dinner. Mm -hmm. Can you guess what it's going to be? 
Thanks, dear. You're welcome, dear. And then we're going to go outside here. See what Daniel's doing. Hi, dear. Just preparing for tomorrow's launch. Do some fly fishing on Lake George. Got dinner going on here pretty quick. Nice. And Sierra. Sierra's hanging out. It's finding all the pine cones. And taking them in the cabin. Bringing them in and making a mess. Huh, Sierra? Aren't you? I can see fish rising in George. But I forgot my fins. <laughs> so we won't be doing any float tubing this morning. My fins are in the other float tube uh, that the girls are bringing up today. So then I'm gonna pack everything up and I'm gonna take a drive down to the uh, Owens or maybe Hot Creek, I haven't decided yet but I'm gonna end up just fly fishing one of those two uh, rivers today and head back up here around noon or one o'clock and see what the girls are doing. But I was super excited to go on Lake George this morning, but when I realized I forgot my fins, it uh, changed of plans. But overall, good night's sleep. It's uh, not a cloud in the sky outside. It's about 7 a.m. I'm sorry, it's about 6 a.m. Uh, so getting the early start. So I'm just gonna finish getting breakfast ready, prepping all my fishing gear, and uh, we'll take you guys for a ride. <music> Hi dolls. Hello. The party is here. How was the drive? Very long. Well, you long. guys stop in Bishop and get a bunch of stuff. We have goodies. Good. Shots? Did your sister drive below 65 miles an hour the whole way here? Yes, sir. And you've never had a beer in your life? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back. From the village, we had our dinner, and now we're just hanging out. And, right. and then, of course, there's yes. the most wonderful angel in the world. Yes. Look at her, so yeah. precious. She had a big day today. A lot of hiking, Red. No. Red. a lot of walking Red. around, Red. Yes. a lot of yes. being a puppy. No. Yes. And yes. we're gonna call it a night. I think we're gonna Black. just hang out.
All right, guys, so it's Friday afternoon and the wind's blowing really hard, so hopefully this turns out good enough. Um, but we're here at the end of a trail that we just ventured off on and it and dead ended right here, which is all the minarets are over here off the driver's side, which uh, I'll, I'll get the camera here in a second, I'll show you, but I got some cool drone footage of it. But this is the kind of reward you get when you just go out and you start venturing around. Uh, there were only a few other people on this trail. We're at the very end of it right here on the top of this ridge, which kind of dead ends and drops straight down on the other end of the camera. So it's an incredible spot. I'm so glad we found it. We're just gonna hang up, uh, hang out up here for a little bit and enjoy the views. I mean, you've got uh, Lake Crowley over there. You got Mammoth down this side. You got the minarets over here. There's another lake down there. I think it's like Sotcher Lake uh, in the post pile that you can see. And you just got these really cool meadows all over the place uh, down at the bottom of this ridge. So we're gonna enjoy the view, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of pop in and. You know, let you guys know, you know, get out there, go explore, um, use your Gaia maps, look for trails that might end up rewarding you in a spot like this. Um, we got lucky, but, you know, with a little bit of research, uh, you can easily have found this spot, which is just outside the city of Mammoth. So I'm on. Dumb fish, it's not even a real bug. <laughs> Very nice. Looks like about 13 and a half inches. What, what are you trying to do? Well, now I need something on. All right. <laughs> uh, in your little plastic thing is another lure we can use. All right, guys, good morning. Happy 4th of July. Isabel and I woke up this morning to celebrate our independence by fishing on Lake George. She caught a nice 11 inch rainbow trout. I landed three and we're only fishing for like an hour and a half, right It We weren't even yeah. fishing that long. Um, but it's about 9.30 and everybody's ready. We are headed down the hill to go to uh, down in the Devil's Post Pile Red's area, Meadow. Red's Meadow, and we're going to do a hike to, where are we going? Um, Minaret Falls. Minaret Falls. From Devil's Post Pile. From, yeah, exactly. In Red's Meadow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so now you guys are all thoroughly confused, but uh, it's about 9.30. Normally, if we do uh, a trip Red's down Meadow. to Red's Meadow, we will usually get there prior to 7 a.m., so that uh, we can take our own car down there because generally anytime after 7 a.m. you have to take the public transportation, the bus, and uh, I mean nobody likes doing that. But because of the COVID right now, anybody can drive down and up at any time of the day because they're not running the buses. So it's 4th of July, so I'm guessing everybody and their brother and sister are going to go down there today. So. Hopefully it's still early enough that we can get down there and drive before they shut it all down. So it's about 9.30. Hopefully we can get in. If we can't get in, we're going to go find some uh, other spots to go off-road in and hike in and maybe go up to Laurel Lakes or something. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we'll show you guys some pictures of the drive on the way down there. And once we get down there, we'll definitely shoot some video of what, what it's like. If you guys have never been down there and if you've ever been to Mammoth, you absolutely should set a day aside, even a half a day to go down there because it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right guys, so this 
line's about a half mile long, so we're gonna call it. And you know, even if we wanted to wait in this line, it's gonna be really tough to find parking. So we are going to make an illegal U-turn right now because everybody's going up. There's not a whole lot of people coming down. So we're gonna show you where else there is to go around here. Um, we don't, uh, you know, there's always next year to do stuff like this. So that's what we're gonna work on. And we're gonna go find someplace else to off-road and uh, go do some hikes. So I have a pretty good idea where I'm, where I'm gonna go. <laughs> Right, guys so we made it here to laurel lakes and uh, we're just going for a little bit of a hike here sierra's off leash and doing real well she got in the water earlier which was good to see she's been a little uh scared of the water at the house and the pool so it was good to see her jump right in there but we're gonna keep hiking to the other side of the southern lake between the two and I'll probably get some drone footage for y'all to see. But it's a pretty mild ride on the way up here. It wasn't too bad. Gabby made it no problem in her JL with is no lift on 33s. <laughs> So it is Sunday, July 5th, July 5th, and I went fishing this morning on Lake George, caught about three uh, smaller rainbow trout, uh, Goose went hiking with Gabby yeah. up to where? We went to Heart Lake. Heart Lake. So and uh, two younger girls stayed home and slept in that's what yes. they do they're really good at it and now we are all we caught back up with one another had some lunch had some lunch and we are going to head into town do a little walking around get some ice cream before we head back and cook some dinner and pack the girls up which uh 
won't take that long, but uh, we'll get them a head start because they're going home tomorrow, which sucks. You know, I uh, I know we both enjoyed this is we love this every year we do this for a week and the last day like today it always uh, it's kind of bittersweet. So sad. We're gonna enjoy the next couple hours with them, starting with some ice cream. And then I'm going to start editing like crazy this video. And I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because I'm trying to edit it in one day and upload it tomorrow or Tuesday. But uh, hopefully you guys like part one of our little adventure. Uh -huh. uh, it's very easy as far as camping goes because we had the cabin we had warm water a toilet shower shower bed bed um so we spoiled ourselves but uh starting tomorrow goose and i are on our way and uh not sure where we're gonna go but uh stay tuned for part two but in the meantime hope you guys all had a very happy fourth of july and happy trails and we'll see you guys on the next video take care